Becoming vegan started with what was on our plate and it moved on to welfare of the animals and the planet. And then it moved to our wallet. We're like, okay, yeah. we're doing all of these things. Now we're super, super conscious. Right. Let's become conscious consumers. Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. So we've had a ton of questions as of late about how do we manage to live this vegan lifestyle, staying healthy, and more importantly, saving money. For a lot of us, we are on a budget and sometimes saving money gets in the way of improving our health. If you've seen some of our food hauls, they are a bit expensive. That being said, we have developed a million workarounds, ways that we have saved money, learned how to budget, learned how to cut back and become more conscious consumers. So we're gonna take you guys through and share a few simple steps that you can take to be vegan, to be healthy, and to be savvy with your money. You guys will want to be sure and stay tuned till the very end because we are going to be sharing with you yet another vegan beginner budget friendly recipe that you guys are going to love. If you guys watch our recent vegan on a budget for beginners video, you can find three delicious recipes. It'll be linked below in the description so you can check it out. We talk about a handful of ways within buying organic, healthy, whole foods, how we save money doing so, like buying in bulk. So check that video out and you will find out all of the loopholes that we have found that have helped us to be able to eat the most pristine foods on the planet. Dusty and I rarely go out to dinner anymore, maybe once a month, a couple times a month, whereas it used to be two to three times, whereas it used to be two to three times a week. So that's gonna be a hundred bucks a pop each dinner. So instead, we have invested in things like our pressure cooker and our Dutch oven that we've got down here. These are great tools for your kitchen that may cost a little bit up front, but you can make one pot healthy vegan stews that last three days in the refrigerator, pop it on the stove each night and reheat it again, and you've got dinner for, like I said, two to three days. There's no question about it. You're saving money in the long run and you're saving money on your health. So we also started making our lunches to go in, either in the mornings or coming home for lunch, whereas before, Dusty and I would literally meet each other for lunch at our favorite sub shop almost every single, <coughs> almost every single day of the week. That's eight to $10 a pop, making it at least $50 a week on lunch, plus the dinners added in. Not cheap, friends. <laughs> okay, baby handoff. Going beyond the plate a little bit, Aaron and I have started to explore other ways to save money in our house. So for instance, first thing we did when we moved into our new house was we cut cable. We hadn't been watching TV like at all. So we cut cable and I think that saved us like at least 75 bucks a month. Number two, we put LED lights in and dimmer switches. So at night we dim them way down. We like the vibe and it gets us calmed down for bed. And number three, our Nest thermostat that we love. So this is not an ad for Nest, but we did want to show you guys this thing has a leaf setting that if you go far enough, it actually shows you that you're saving money. The lower you put your heat or your air down, and that's been something that we've loved. We actually get a monthly overview and it shows us how much energy and how much money, therefore, we've saved. Something else that we're gonna have to run upstairs for is our toilets. We put new toilets in that actually have a water saving option. You in here? Son, camera. <laughs> If it's brown, flush it down. Okay, enough of the camera now. So yeah, in regards to saving water, going vegan, we found out, saves like 400,000 gallons of water per year. Just like ridiculous, right? So again, that has spilled over into other aspects of our life. Whether we shower less, we don't use our sprinklers in the yard, and like I said, this, the water saving toilet has been key. What are you talking about, bud? Okay, you guys, so now we are out in our garage slash home gym, which that's another topic, but this has saved us money and saved us a gym membership. But what I'm here to talk about is how we 
can drive less and use less gas, pollute the environment less. So Dusty and I have been walking a lot more since having Max. So we walked to the farmer's market, get our fresh organic local produce with our baby stroller, and we've got our intense bike collection over here. So whenever possible, especially when it gets warmer and nicer out, we are not all weather riders, maybe someday, but we do ride as much as possible when we can to avoid having to drive. So they say that April showers bring May flowers, but they also bring an abundance of fruit and veg if you plant your own. So growing your own is another great way to save money. And since going vegan, it has become even more of a hobby and a passion. So we just picked up some cherry tomatoes, which are my favorite in the summertime from our farmer's market. We just got a big rain. So hopefully a bunch of the seeds that we planted will be sprouting soon but it doesn't take very much space to grow an abundance of fruit and veg in your own backyard. So our strawberries came back from last year, which is super exciting because berries are my jam. And we've got some herbs that we just planted in here, which we will show you guys when we start to actually produce some veggies and fruits. And then over here, we've got our blueberry bush, which came back, that's been planted for two years, and our raspberries, which are really taking off this year. Okay guys, little Max fell asleep. We're taking this opportunity to sit down together and continue filming. So another way that we've saved money and been more conscious um, with this lifestyle, this vegan lifestyle, saving money has gotten so easy in so many areas, but surprisingly in the area of insurance, like health insurance and specifically life insurance. So a few years ago, we actually heard of a company called Health IQ on Rich Roll's podcast, and they claim to be saving people money, runners, yogis, vegans, right? We can all save money on life insurance. So we're like, well, we got to check this out. We went to healthiq.com, took the test, the vegan test, and turns out that we actually were eligible to uh, save money. We did have to be well-informed and educated as to why we were making the lifestyle choices <laughs> that we had decided to make. Right. We passed the test, high five, Woo! low five. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, we had to submit proof in a couple of other forms, including getting our blood work done, which yep. of course we passed with flying colors <laughs> because why wouldn't you on a vegan lifestyle? <laughs> right. So yeah, again, Health IQ is super legit. You take the test, whether you're a runner, a hiker, a yogi, any of these things, again, we took the vegan test, we did the blood test, and we actually submitted race results, which you can if you use Strava or any of these other programs that track your workouts or your runs or your races, they actually went to the database, looked up, saw that we we're runners, and as a result, they cut our insurance rates in half, 50%, and that's not an exaggeration. I've never been great at adulting, I can be <laughs> honest and say that, <laughs> so yes. it seemed kind of like, yeah, okay, I guess, whatever, but now I'm super <laughs> proud to actually share this with friends, yep. anybody who I talk to, because it's super exciting to be rewarded for your healthy lifestyle in the same way that being a good driver and having a good driving record helps your auto insurance. Yeah. It's just exciting to know that eating clean can go beyond the plate and besides you know, cutting your medical bills in half, it can also help you for generations to come because right. especially like Dusty said, since having Max, those things have become a lot more important to us. If you guys wanna support our channel, you can actually go to Health IQ, mm -hmm. visit healthiq.com slash eatmoverest, take the quiz and just see, see what your rates might be. Hopefully they'll save you money. If you're like us and you're vegan or you're active, you're a runner, you're a lifter, yogi, any of these things, chances are you could seriously save some money mm -hmm. by going through Health IQ. So eating clean, whole fresh plant foods, <laughs> staying active, taking care of yourself in general all across the board is going to reward you and it's going to reward your wallet as well in a number of ways. Yeah. So becoming vegan started with what was on our plate and it moved on to welfare of the animals and the planet and then it moved to our wallet. We're like, okay, yeah. we're doing all of these things. Now we're super, super conscious. Right. Let's become conscious consumers. Yeah. So I just have to give a quick shout out <laughs> to plants for lowering my cholesterol <laughs> and improving my half marathon time. Yes. And I have to give another shout out to Health IQ for <laughs> saving us money. <laughs> totally. Now on to the recipe. 
Yeah, let's get <laughs> cooking. So for our budget-friendly vegan beginner dinner recipe, we have a chickpea quinoa curry on the menu. So it's gonna be super simple and easy. Buy in bulk. All you're gonna need is one cup of quinoa, one cup of soaked garbanzo beans, and about a cup of frozen green peas. This whole recipe will cost you less than $3. Believe it or not, it's packed full of protein, phytonutrients, fiber, and it's going to taste amazing thanks to a few helpful spices. Okay, so when we were in Costa Rica, we got some fresh ground ginger and turmeric, so we're gonna use a little bit of each. These, if you don't already know, are super anti-inflammatory. They're gonna boost your health IQ and your overall health and your well-being because your back pain, your headaches, all of this is gonna go away with a little bit of these guys. The main character in this film is curry powder. So tons and tons of curry. We use it on almost everything. We love it, so we're gonna use that. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. I am cooking the quinoa now. After that, I'll show you. I'm just gonna throw everything in here together with our spices, cook it up. It's gonna be so, so good. It takes maybe 10 minutes to make. Okay guys, so our chickpea quinoa curry is complete. This makes a delicious meal all by itself, or you can also have it alongside something else. So we pop some potatoes and sweet potatoes in our pressure cooker and they'll be done any minute, budget friendly and time friendly, and it's going to taste amazing. About to enjoy this delicious dish. I wanted to shout out our sponsor again for this week's video, Health IQ. Go to healthiq.com slash eatmoverest to see if you guys qualify for lower insurance rates. Also, if you speak to a representative, you can mention promo code eatmoverest to them directly. And I recommend you guys do it as soon as possible. Life insurance is typically based off of your current age. So the sooner, the better. Thanks for watching, you guys. You know the drill, eat, move, rest, your best. <laughs>